Hi guys, it's Baldrick here, and in today's episode, I would like to talk about multiplayer games versus single play games, and I'll be basically giving you some benefits of both of them and some disadvantages that you may face when you're playing one of these types of categories of game. So, obviously, the gameplay you are watching is from Battlefield 4 PC Edition, and it is a multiplayer and single play game, but it's, it is predominantly multiplayer. So, I'll classify what classifies a multiplayer game. A multiplayer game is a game where the developers have solely focused on the multiplayer. It may have a single player, but it most people just play it for multiplayer. And then you've got the single games. An example would be Far Cry 3. It's got a multiplayer, but the developers mainly focused on the single player and quickly chucked in a multiplayer game mode just, I guess, for extra features. So it mainly focuses on the single player. And then you get the solely multiplayer games like Counter-Strike and you get the solely single player games, I guess, like, I don't know, uh, what's a good single player game I can give a example of? I'll just say Half-Life 1, that's just a single player and you can't really get multiplayer on most of the, I guess, versions of it. So anyway, let's get on to which one's better. So obviously, none of them are really going to be better than each other. They've both got their advantages and disadvantages. Some advantages for multiplayer games is that you can play with your friends and I know you can get co-op single play games but I won't really go into that too much because it gets a bit too complicated so I'll just stick to what I've addressed over here. So obviously you can play with your friends and another thing that multiplayer gives you is that you can play against real people so that means they're not artificial intelligence and they're not going to do stupid things they're going to act how a real person would or unless they're doing really stupid stuff like trolling but you'd get the general idea of how people would react in gunfights obviously it's nowhere near real life but it, it's better than a artificial intelligence that you would find in a single play game and then a I guess disadvantage of multiplayer is that they fail to tell stories properly. So, games like Titanfall, they're alright, but they try and st tell a story in the multiplayer that really should have been focused in on a just single play campaign, and it would have just gotten the job done. Whereas multiplayer, a lot of people couldn't really be bothered to do it. And I guess this falls into the co-op category, but you, you sort of see my point. You don't really get the best storylines from multiplayer games. But then you've got some really good games, like some of the older Call of Duties, like COD 4. I wouldn't say the new ones are that great, but... And you've also got the game Halo. People say that's really good at both campaign and multiplayer. A lot of people love both of them, because the, the, devel the developers put a lot of effort into both versions of the game. And that's what I really would like to see in a lot of more games. Instead of doing half-assed multiplayer expansions, just focus on one thing or put a lot of effort into both things. So, obviously with a campaign game, you're going to get much better storytelling as the, I guess, whoever wrote it or the game developer can just put in cutscenes explaining things get you to do certain things that help explain the story. Well, in multiplayer, you don't really have to do any of those things, and obviously some multiplayers don't even have any story behind them whatsoever. So, that's about it, guys. I'd like to hear whether you enjoy playing multiplayer games or single-player games in the comments. I know me personally, I do not mind a good single-player game, but... On a Friday night, when I'm relaxing, I definitely would rather be playing a multiplayer game with some of my friends. It's much more entertaining and fun, but everyone's got their own opinion, so I would really like to read it. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. See you later.